next L in my 10 L's of leadership is leaders get to know their people before they get their people to know their tasks. Leaders get to know their people before they get their people to know their tasks. I want you to take in your mind, have a visual of someone that you work with. Have a visual of someone that you work with. Now, I want you to write down on one of your index cards, one thing that you know about that person's health, their wealth, their family, and their dreams. Go. Take, have a visual of one person that you work with. I want you to write down something that you know about their health, something that you know about their wealth, something that you know about their family, and something that you know about their dreams. Health, wealth, family, dreams. Health, wealth, family, dreams. Health, wealth, family, dreams. Something that you know about that person's health, their wealth, their family, and, and their dreams. Now, the, the point is, as leaders, as people who collaborate to make a difference for your organization, as accountable leaders who are setting value, not by a rating, but by a perspective, not by a tag of who you were in the past, but by who you are every single day. That's what's driving the difference here in your organization. But the point is, do you know your people? Or do you just know the work that you give your people to do? Every leader should know something about the people they work with, specifically those four dimensions. They should know something about their health, because as you work and as you collaborate and as you work with people, the more you work them, you impact their health. When you give someone a, a great review, great feedback, that allows them to grow and thrive in their career or with their client, you impact their wealth, both materially and physically. When you take someone away from something because they are consumed with you or your work or your organization, or your client, you take them away from something that they also are looking to get back to. And when you give someone an opportunity to win, because you've created a culture that allows people to be their best potential, because you create a culture where people feel that they belong, whether they are from near or from afar, then you give people a chance to achieve their dreams. And that's what leaders do. And then when you think about the way that those people show you appreciation, you realize that the more that you know about their health, their wealth, their family, and their dreams, the greater they show appreciation to you. But the less you know about that, because you only know the work that you give them to do, then they are less invested in you. So the takeaway here is the what happens when you leave you should know something about the people that you work with, their health, their wealth, their family, and their dreams. And if you don't, or the people that are leading you don't know something about that about you, then it is your accountability to let them know so you are invested in the impact of your efforts as a leader. Health, wealth, family, and dreams. Get to know your people before you get your people to know your task.